this is unreal, right? <laughs> this is this is a bad dream, right? This is a nightmare, right? And we're all going to wake up and we're going to sit up in bed and look out the window and the birds are singing because it's spring and there's a nice morning blue sky out there and sunrise and we're all going to say, not knowing that everybody was saying this, we're all going to say, wow, that was the worst nightmare I think I've ever had. Oh my God, this, this, this disease hit and everybody was sick and nobody had jobs and nobody had money and people were hungry and holy, ah, oh, wow. I'm glad it was just a nightmare, although it was very upsetting. Only, uh, that's not it. It's not a nightmare. It's real. It's a real nightmare. Is nightmarish reality? I'll get the right assemble of assemblage of letters and words here in a minute. Here, here's part of the horror: the number of children with a rare and potentially deadly inflammatory condition, likely linked to COVID nineteen, has risen to a hundred kids in at least fourteen states. This virus has been programmed to wipe out humanity. That, that's the feeling I get. Now, Dr. Fauci says that, that the bright spot, if there is one, in trying to figure this virus out is the fact that the human body seems to be able to, um, to resist the immune system is able to confront this virus and defeat it. So there is definitely an immune response to COVID-19 invading our, our bodies. If we are suffering from preconditions, medical condition, uh, whatever they are, obesity, smoking, high blood pressure, diabetes, uh, heart trouble, kidney trouble, liver trouble, you know, all those modern underlying conditions. Then the virus sees that as opportunity because the immune system is busy fighting all this other shit, trying to keep us alive. The immune system, that's its sole function, to protect us, keep us alive. Hey, here comes some germs. <laughs> hey, here comes a virus. Bang, 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 bang. But if the immune system is all involved with other shit, well, we die. We die. And now the kids. Old people like me, it's understandable. Our immune systems have worked its ass off for decades. Oh, I'm tired. You can hear an immune system. I hear mine sometimes. Malloy, I'm fucking tired, man. Do you know what I've prevented you from getting over the course of all your fucking years? Look how old you are, and you're still doing this shit on, 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 on a podcast and stuff? Malloy, I'm tired. I'm tired. Wait, wait, wait. You know, that's what I want to say my immune system. I don't know how to address it. Hold on. Hey, wait, wait. Don't go away. Don't go away. Wait a minute. You know, what do you do? If you're an old person like I am... Your, your immune system doesn't want to go away, doesn't want to go to sleep, but it's running out of energy. It's just, whoo, 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 it's tired. It makes no difference how many goalies you're taking uh, during the day or, or um, resveratrol or any of this uh, supplemental stuff that I take to stave off your immune system from just gasping and giving up and collapsing into a puddle of immune system dreck and ending. But kids, theirs hasn't developed yet. Their immune system is still, you know, putting pieces together like, okay, now we got to protect this little girl. What? Blah, blah, blah. And the virus gets into these kids, just like the virus gets into us old people. It gets into the kids and it goes, hey, look at this. These human beings don't have one yet. Let's get to work. God damn. 
The number of dead in these states comes as the Center for Disease Control, CDC, says it's actively preparing guidance for health officials to track what's now being called, even put a name to it, Pediatric Multisystem Inflammatory Syndrome, or PMIS. PMIS. Now, the vast majority of the cases so far are at the epicenter of this epidemic in the United States, which is New York. And Governor Cuomo there announced earlier this week that the state has treated 100 patients who range in age from younger than one year old to age 18 with PMIS. Now, the vast, uh, uh, or, or at least five children in New York have died from this illness, little kids who never had a fucking chance. And the illness, PMIS, according to uh, the physicians who are dealing with this, it acts much like toxic shock syndrome. Remember that? Remember TSS? When was it back in the 70s, late 70s, early 80s, when women were dying of toxic shock because they were using tampons, insertable uh, uh, clots of, of, of cotton or fiber, to absorb menstrual blood, and all of a sudden people, women were dying. And it was figured out fairly quickly that if you insert those, you run the risk of death. Toxic shock syndrome. Now, the kids who are dealing with pediatric multisystem inflammatory syndrome are dying of what looks like toxic shock or Kawasaki disease. Kawasaki disease causes severe inflammation of the coronary arteries. I mean, that's an old person thing. Not a kid, not a baby, not a toddler. But it's not just an old person thing now. NBC News reports, indeed, as awareness of PMIS has grown over the past few weeks, doctors have reported a small number of other cases in California, Connecticut, Delaware, Illinois, Kentucky, Louisiana, Massachusetts, Mississippi, New Jersey, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Utah, Washington State, and Washington, D.C., Meanwhile, on Tuesday, a CDC spokesperson told NBC News that that agency is working to come up with a standard definition of PMIS that's attacking and killing children. The guidance that CDC is trying to put together is meant to assist public health officials in tracking cases in each state. So I'm sure the dickless fuckers with their guns will soon show up outside a state house and say, We don't want no tracking. The fuck is this? Tracking. You like my gun? I ain't got no dick, so I have this. <laughs> Identifying the syndrome can be difficult, according to doctors, because many affected children don't exhibit the typical respiratory symptoms that are associated with this novel coronavirus. According to Dr. Roberta DeBasi, who's head of the Division of Infectious Diseases at Children's National Hospital in Washington, D.C., according to her, Children are arriving at the hospital, quote, with things like very high fever, severe abdominal pain, and dropping blood pressure. Dr. DeVacy said the children's hearts either aren't pumping, pumping normally or there is inflammation in the coronary arteries that supply blood flow to the heart, and when the inflammation hits, it reduces blood flow. Uh, which sets up the possibility for clots to form, which sets up the possibility of strokes, heart attacks in children. Children. (laughs) 
the uh, the answer to all of this right now, of course, is unknown. And medical science is working to prevent its being unknowable. And in the midst of all of this, the orange ape and his minions scattered around the country, these brain-dead fucking white male right-wing Christian fanatics, they want everything opened up. Let's have more, more dead children. They'll go to heaven. Suffer little children to come into me for such of the kingdom of God. They'll just go to heaven. <laughs> and old people, well, you know, they'll go to heaven too if they're saved. If they're not saved, they're going to hell. They're going to burn for fucking eternity. I don't give a shit how much you like grandma. If she's not saved and she dies coronavirus, bruh, right into hell, motherfucker. So, I get carried away, don't I? So the right-wing Christian male crazy fuckers, they don't care. They just don't care. They don't care. The capitalist system doesn't care. Death, destruction, uh, you know, it's uh, part of the cycle of life. <laughs> hey, truth seekers. While we're practicing safe social distancing, it's a great time to treat yourself with some seriously delicious, responsibly sourced coffee. Awaken to pleasure with River Moon Coffee. But don't take my word for it. Here are two recent reviews. Quote, we sell River Moon coffee at Marine General Store, and I can't seem to keep up with customer demand. Not only is the coffee excellent, but the philosophy behind it, the careful sourcing and constant research to bring a quality product to customers, appeals to the hearts of our community. End quote. And here's one from a fellow Malloy listener. Quote, I love, love, love this coffee. I buy it in five-pound bags. I especially love the Truth Seeker blend. End quote. Sounds like they're planning ahead for the apocalypse. Anyway, support a progressive small business that supports this program. Go to MikeMalloy.com and click on the River Moon Coffee link on the main page. You'll thank me later.